you heard that guys how's it going well today i'm going to be building some stuff for um a wedding uh just a couple of bits and bobs that i've sort of been roped into building um i'm just sort of building the wooden structure of things and then later on they're going to get decorated and stuff that's nothing to do with me so we're just going to build a couple of bits for a wedding don't quite know what a lot of these are but let's go So the first thing I'm building is, uh, is this frame. Um, and what we're gonna do with it is put flowers around it, I think. Now I've got these really thin bits of wood here uh, that I got from B&Q, bloody fortune, might I just point out. Uh, I think it was like 14 quid for, for this pack. Uh, wood has just got ridiculous right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, we've got eight bits here. And I'm going to try and, I want to try and build two. We're going to see what we can get out of this. Might have to use some scrap wood as well. But we'll have a look. First of all, I'm probably going to speed through this one because it's just a square frame of some sort. So let's go. 14 quid and this wood is awful. It's got knots in it, holes, chunks taken out of it. This was the best of the bat. Damn being q you suck. Little update, uh, I've taken some three by two and ripped it down into chunks, very similar to what this is actually. It's just a touch, touch thicker and wider. But I'm gonna make that the top and bottom, maybe even a middle brace. But like I said, I wanna try and make two. So I'm just gonna try and rip down some scrap three by two that I have. All right, well that looks like a decent distance to have. So we'll just measure this. Um, there we go. By the way, if you hear me sniffling a lot, hay fever is in season. So what I have, which is pretty much taking up the whole length of my bench, is um, <clears throat> one panel like this. And then I need to make another panel up and then the other two sides will have slightly longer ones to cover the end grain of this. Pretty basic, but it's definitely gonna need something in the middle because this wood is just too flimsy. It's got quite a flex in it. So I'm just gonna take the plane and just take off the edges. Try and clean it up as best I can. But I think I might burn this later, so Crazy nice edges aren't that important just yet. We will see. To fix this all together, it's gonna to be really simple. I'm gonna do a double glue and some nails. Now we're just putting on these battens here. So they're just gonna go on that side. Same process, bit of glue, couple of nails. And then this is practically nearly done. You gotta love a good nail gun project. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so 
so that's this square frame built uh, can't really get it in shot in the shed but um, like I said this is what it looks like um, and this is what it is I think some flowers are gonna go around it maybe some lights or something um, but I'm gonna build another one of these and then we'll move on to the next project so now that they're done um, the next job is to make this thing and the thing is is I don't have a lot to go on um, so what I'm gonna do is I've got some chalkboard paint I've got some um, shiplap tongue and groove uh, cladding so we're gonna paint the cladding with some chalkboard paint and then put it together and then work out some sort of easel. So let's try that out. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I've been messing around with some wood. I've got some of this scrap here. And these are gonna cross over something like that. So what I'm gonna do is do a half lap joint here in some sort of tray for the board to fit on. And then it just needs some sort of support on the back with bits of string to the back support. Should be that simple. How long is it going to take me? Let's find out. So we're going to do the half lap joint now. I'm not going to show you. I did do quite a few half lap joints in a table uh, I did recently. It was the plywood end grain. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to it there. Yeah. And you can check it out. So I'm going to do the half lap and then I'm going to come back to you. That is the A-frame done, uh, and these are now supported. My next plan is to get the back leg on, which I've got a hinge here. So what I'll do is I'll put the leg on a hinge on the back here, and then the uh, chalkboard will sit on the front, I'm not sure what we'll do. Probably something like this. Um, with another piece on the front just to bump it up. I don't know. We're going to come to that later. But first of all, we need a leg. Back to the scrap heap. I'm going to sand this piece up. Plane down some of the edges. And then get started on the front bit. So I've just cut some of these little tabs uh, out on the bandsaw. So what they're going to do is they're just going to go right there to stop the board from slipping off. That's the chalkboard done. So there's another one down. Um, <clears throat> I just need to put some string around the legs to stop that back leg opening up too far. But that's another one down. So the next one is the welcome sign. So we'll get that one done. So the next thing we're building is this thing. And this should be rather easy because all we gotta do is simple base with a half lap joint on the bottom. And we can screw a piece of light uh, three by two up through the bottom and then some sort of supporting braces once that's done um, I'll probably get a piece of this plywood cut out an arrow um, and then paint it with chalkboard paint um, and the arrow is going to be what you call it uh, optional because I wasn't really told to do the arrow but I thought I may as well so we'll see what we can do with that. So first of all, let's cut the legs, cut the half lap joint. My shed is just a tip at the moment and I've got the CNC machine in here and it's taken up a lot of room um, where a lot of my stuff should really be over there. 
So I don't know what I'm doing yet. CNC machine is a video that's going to come up soon as well. Um, I'm still learning. I think we're going to go 50 centimeter legs. I know I said I wasn't going to show the half lap joint, but I thought, well, may as well. So what we're going to do. So this is a 50 centimeter thing. So 25. 25 and these are six 63 mil so 63 so let's say that is 60 30 so what 32 the so 32 on each side just to be safe All right, cut that, cut that, boom, that goes on top. So, put some glue into the uh, joint, that can go on there. I'll chuck a couple of screws in there. So we're going to cut it right there. Oh, that was a really pissed line. That's better. We're going to cut it about there. So I've got some 90 mil screws and we're just going to put these in here. Don't drill them into bench. Somehow support this as we screw this in. So this is only for a wedding. It's only going to be used one day. And I don't think the supports need it. I mean, that is solid. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, so I'm not going to do the little supports on the side. Although I think it might be decorative. I'm not sure. But I'm going to draw out a arrow on here. Oh, I'm terrible at drawing. If there's anything you ever see that's drawn, it's normally because I get my wife to do it. Because I am terrible. So let's see what we've got here. Let's go. Um, yeah. I think I'm just going to cut out an actual sign instead of messing around with this. Yeah, it'll look a lot better. So I'm just going to give this, um, couple of coats of paint with the chalkboard paint oh. should we keep that in the video yes let's keep it in the fact that I fucked up.
So now this is the third thing that we've made today. They've not been the greatest things in the world, but um, it's it's something. Now I'm not decorating these up or anything. This was just a basic, do the best I can with what I've got. Um, these would be dressed up at the wedding, which I won't be going to. Um, so I won't have any final pictures, but you can see what they're meant to look like, which is pretty much what I'll show in this video. So I've had it in my uh, videos for a while and it's in the description. It's a link uh, to buy me a coffee. Um, now I'd, I've never really wanted to say, would you please donate any money to me? Um, it's not something I really wanted to do. Um, but there was a, a subscriber of mine, Neil Devonshire, actually um, bought me a coffee and I want to say I'm really thankful for that. Um, I, I never expected to really get this far in making videos. So I want to say a huge thank you um, to all my subscribers because I'm nearly at a thousand, which is mind blowing because it just keeps going up every day. Um, and I want to say a huge thank you to um, everyone that comments and likes the videos and stuff. Once again, guys, make sure you like and subscribe uh, if you like what's going on here. And I'll see you next time. Very close. We're getting very close to a very big project.